Hey, whisper, whisper. Come, wake up. What day is it? Uh, Tuesday? It's Tuesday? What are we gonna do on a Tuesday? Huh? Um, I was thinking of color coordinating some Jep sheep. Ah. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. It's time to take over the world. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to conquer it. Colonial Engineer 2 is back up. It's wiped. Now we must conquer it for ourselves. Take over the world. Keep it away from that evil knock. Awesome. So... So, so let me get this right. You're you're connecting to Skynet. Yes. You heard it here, folks. This for fires connected to Skynet. No, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Gonna record again. And we got some dye right. Oh, and granite. So, um, I don't or garnet. I mean, I don't know if that's gonna help make tools. I might actually see what that uh, how that comes out for um making another hammer for myself now whisper's got a hammer i kind of need a hammer i was hoping to do some obsidian but i don't i think her hammer will break obsidian did you find any you didn't find lava yet uh i did but i haven't uh uncovered it my inventory was full ah okay no no worries um anyway um might try and well i'll try to wait till she brings uh, some, some obsidian back because we're gonna need that we're gonna need to get in the nether well, as soon as possible, but we want to do our ore doubling and stuff, and we need to do that with some uh, the create stuff, the wheels, the so crushing wheels and all that fun stuff. But we didn't find any andesite, but we did find diorite. That can be used with a bit of cobblestone. Ooh. Lag, the lag is real. With some diorite and cobblestone we can make andesite all right cool got the andesite um we've got some iron we've got, actually got some iron nuggets from earlier we can use that i think you can maybe you can use the gold nugget that we've got no not the gold nugget. I just iron nuggets yeah i found a deposit of diorite i am collecting it right now nice and that is actually just as good as the andesite, if not better, because we can double the diorite into andesite and use that to make some andesite alloy, which we need a bunch of. We need a bunch of. Because that's going to make our shafts and make our cogs, and then we need to make... I, I would love to go straight for like one of the other things, but um, well, we could possibly do the wind turbine thing. I'm thinking though, I just want to stick with the water wheel because of the compactness of it for the time being. Mm -hmm. And then switch it over to a, a campfire power source that can be toggled later. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So we'll start out with a water wheel like, like regular. And then, um, yeah, I think I'm going to put it right over here in this wall and dig back into here, put the... Uh, all the cogs and gears to get it up to a nice super high speed and then um yeah we'll, we'll get we'll cut back in when we get that all finished <laughs> How's that? i'm gonna work on that sweet do we need granite uh yeah we will we'll definitely want granite because uh we can break that down and get quartz out of it using the wheels once we have them I just found oh. a copper deposit. Sweet. Yeah, just save all of our ores for the time being. Uh, I've got a little bit of the iron that we got from the treasure. That's going to give me the iron nuggets I need to make the, the alloys. And then I'll, you know, um, when, when we got all the materials, we can go through it together if you want. Sure. But I'm going to go get some to eat because my stomach's grumbling. Real life. <laughs> Real life food. Real life food. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> well, hello? You scared me. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> I uncovered the first diamonds. No. Thought you got. Thought right. you wanted to have the honors. 
Oh, I thought, uh, well. Ah! Actually, <laughs> no, go ahead. You're the only one that's got a tool to mine them right now. Nice. Got some diamonds. Mm -hmm. hey, whoa. Well, that that was a big area of, of stuff, wasn't it? <laughs> where all the where you got all the dorides. Mhm. Mm I'm still working on filling it up. Let me just wall it off, light it up, and wall it off. Oh, I'm not that up. lazy. <laughs> not that lazy. Well, we're gonna have a builder before too long, so hopefully we gotta get into the some tech though first. Meow. You good? Are we good down there? Are you all done? Mm, no, we're still working. Stuff. I need food. Okay. I, obsidian is what I was asking about, or what I was trying to say. Did you there, get the obsidian? No, I didn't, because I don't have a water bucket. Oh. Dang it, I used up all the iron that we had. I got treasure. more. Well, I mean... More than iron makes buckets. Ah, uh, of course. What? We got a lurker. Buckets are made by more than iron. Oh, I know, but we don't have any other metals processed yet because we don't have our things set up. Uh, which we're about to do. Uh, but we do have a bucket somewhere. Here we go. Anyway, we got to get our create setup set up. Mm -hmm. It's nighttime, so I'm going to sleep that off. So one of the, one of the things we got to keep in mind, uh, mm -hmm. Whisper, is the chunk borders remember we showed that earlier and i said oh this is kind of cool but this is a chunk line yes and of course that's where I, I centered tried to center up the uh the thing here sort of and it the town hall's in this chunk so anyway this is center the chunk center cool so when we build our loader uh you know it's only we want to keep it in the in the three by three area around the loader sweet so, when also when we build our um portal which i want to do like a asap we're going to start by building it right here. And then that way, when we have the one that loads into the nether, uh -huh. is in the perfect position for the center of the area that we want to load. So we'll know where, so we won't have to move that one. Yep. And then later on, we can, uh, you know, actually set the loader up down close to bedrock and put a second portal in, in the nether down close to the nether bedrock so that those two tie up. Mm -hmm. And then we can slightly move the this one up here to tie into the the upper one in the Nether. Cool. Anyway, all kinds of all kinds of things to do with the Nether portal once we get some obsidian. But uh, that being said, I'm thinking that when I need it, you got the uh, the hammer. Yes. Could you make a tunnel for us? Okay, right about here. Oop. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Uh, and, then, and then we want to go right to the edge of the... Yep, there. Okay, you want me to go border. further down? Well, now we want to go this direction. All the way to the next chunk border. So there's, there's one, and then go all the way to the next one. All right, what button turns on the chunk borders? F9? F3 plus G. F3G turns on chunk. That's a vanilla function. I believe. I believe it's been on a function. We also got, um, I think F4, where, yeah, we'll turn on your light level indicators. And that's actually a mod. Okay. Light it up. And that actually, I think, has some different modes. Like, what is it, like Shift F4? Yeah, Shift F4. You like the traditional, just the X's on the floor where you, yeah. where you need to line up instead of the numbers. Oh, I, th I find the numbers a little bit annoying, but like the X's is familiar. Yeah. The numbers is too invasive. So yeah, this will be, I'm going to put the, uh, the water wheel back here in the corner. Um, and then we'll bring all of our gear in this general direction. And actually, we could just do it a nice straight angle across the uh, the chunk, which would make it work out pretty good. So what you're doing is ideal. Just clear out the hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That's okay, because we needed all the andesite alloy anyway. And once we get this set up, we'll be golden. Mm -hmm. Smooth sailing from there, because we'll have all the doubling. All the ore doubling. Do we got... Where's the closest water? Probably all the way down? Yep. Unless I go to that one spot where I covered it up over here. If I can find that, oh, that's probably all the way up. And uh, sweet. So I, I like I kind of like the water wheel for the compactness of it. For mm -hmm. now, I don't know how it's going to change and when they finally do release the next update, but yeah, I think since I've got plenty of space, I'm just gonna set a water wheel up and then go straight diagonal with all of the gearing over to the other corner over there. And then we'll put as soon as it starts to break, then we'll, we'll know that's as far as we can go and we'll put our crushing wheels on it. Sweet. So when you place the water wheel, you know the paddles? Yes. You, you actually need, if you get the water to flow against the paddles the way it, it logically should, it does move fast. Huh. And if you have it flow over the top, around, and under the bottom, it goes faster. Sweet. So if you get get it all the rotations right on this thing, it actually makes a pretty big difference in its overall performance. Where did the torch go? Then I like to put a big wheel directly on that and then start, then, then go from there with the small wheel and etc. You know the rest, right? Mm hmm. I watched your video where you was figuring it out. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. Then we go small wheel, big wheel. Yeah, it was more of a discovery, really. I knew not what I was doing. I think that's as, as about as fast as we're going to get. I mean, if, I'm pretty sure if I try to add any more to this, it'll break. I should try, though. I should try. If, see if I can get it to go faster yet, even. Okay, so I still got plenty of big ones. See how much faster we can get it to go. Probably not too much. I guess so. We're already at like 8x times the original water wheel that is performing at its maximum water wheelness. Okay. That goes, yeah, that goes. Nope, there it goes, busted. So technically, I should be able to. Nope, that won't even touch that. Come on. What if I put a... <laughs> it's like, nope, nope, I can't turn that fast. Bust. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, all right, so technically I don't need this big guy right here. No, or this guy. But this right here should be the maximum speed that we can go. Back there, and that turning the right way. It's, it's going to be kind of hard to tell. I think that's... It's spinning this fast, it's really hard to tell how fast it's actually spinning. <laughs> or which way it's spinning, because... I'm 
pretty sure we're good there, though. <laughs> Clear a little more space here out. Uh, is it going the right way? Maybe not. That, that piece of cobblestone didn't look like it went through. That's easy to fix, though. That's real easy. Yeah. I'm to see. Here, let me... Let me... Definitely not going through. Okay, so we're definitely not going the right direction. So all I gotta do is move this over to this. That's really kind of more where I wanted it anyway, so that's good. Gonna try this direction first. There we go. Theoretically, that's not going the right way. Oh, yep, definitely. Just hate that piece of cobblestone really, really quick. You can see the sparks too, that's the other indicator. They're yeah. seeing little sparks, even when it's not doing anything, there'll be little sparks. There we go, we made some gravel. Definitely working now. Uh, if we wanted to test it really good, we could throw knock in there. Yes? That'd be a good way to test it. Knock, where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> Let's come make sure this wheels are going the right way <laughs> for me. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Enclose this up a bit. Keep the the villager or the yeah the our villagers out of it. Villagers and our citizens. Cause that, that's that's the well, I guess that would be the distinction. Yeah, be the distinction. But because yeah, because we do want to get some villagers, villagers, and we do want to have our citizens. That's two different things. I almost want to put the second um, thing in all, you know, our second wheel in, but it'd be easier just to run, set it up so that it runs certain things backwards into it or a second time through it automatically. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is get some the of the simple, what is it called? Simple networking or the inventory stuff. Inventory? Simple storage networks. Simple storage networks. Yeah, there we go. When you get some simple storage set, uh, network set up for um, manipulating the the stuff, that will also give you that ability that we talked about earlier much better. You'll just be able to send all your stuff up directly into the chests and drawer systems that we're going to set up here. Yes. Because uh, we can probably put a little uh, a storage room over this one of these directions with um, drawers, something that we can, like in a room that we can close off so we don't have to actually look at all, all the images all the time. I don't know if that'll help if it's actually to, for rendering. Probably not. But <laughs> if, if you look at that direction, whether there's walls in between or not, it's probably not going to matter unless you put a block directly in front of it, which is a, which is an idea could have all of our drawers and then we could have uh, solid blocks that slide up and down in front of it for whenever we actually need to look at it. Because yeah. once it's set, it's set. You don't really need it any to look at it anymore. Mm -hmm. You can put a block in front of it. We got help. some ores and some granite. Nice. You said that we could grind that into quartz? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was just getting. I was just thinking about how we can make how I can make this. Uh, make sure that this stays safe, so we don't fall into it. Um, oh, just put in half slabs. Yeah. Well, we should use a uh, fence gate, a piece of gate. It's really. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Just want to prevent us from accidentally slipping into that. Not that fun. <laughs> and then we need to smelt it. Yep. Um, I got furnaces over there. Do like. There we go. Now I can see the gear. Good, and then, and then if we need, we can also um, take off of any of these shafts pretty easily to go ahead and put in our fans. We're gonna I need fans. We're gonna need a um, the press. 
And I would really like to automate the press so that... Yeah, so that we can throw some a bunch of stuff through it, and that's going to make it good later when we have the 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 high tech refined storage to automate it with. Ooh, shiny, shinies. Yes, we're going to get the well. Yeah, shinies. <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, anyway, um, I I think I think with this done, this is a good spot to uh, end an episode with. I think. Yeah, yeah I think we've gotten. A good setup. Gearing. And... Yeah. We're going to do a whole lot <laughs> of processing and mining. Well, um, well remember, camera. remember, you messaged me at about 6.45 this morning. So <laughs> you were up really early. We're both in the same time zone. And we've <laughs> yeah. been at yep. this since, what, 8 a.m.? Maybe 8.30? Yeah. Yeah, we've been at this a while. So uh, I yeah. think this is a good... Yeah, good I'll... place to uh, to, <laughs> ca to call call the end of the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you hit that like button, ring that bell. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, hang on. What? What? No, I don't. I don't think we brought it up here. Dang it! <laughs> we actually have a bell to ring. We could ring the bell. Um, <laughs> that would that would okay. Next episode, we'll definitely make that the outro for the next. One. <laughs> okay. Next time. But yeah, this is a good place to wrap it up. We got we got ore processing. We're gonna be doing a bunch of mining, and I'm gonna get my builder guy going because what I'm gonna do is instead of uh, building a fortress builder thing right off the bat, the first builder I'm gonna do is a dwarven one. I'm just gonna put it down here uh -huh. on this level, uh, and that way I get the builder guy going. I do got one. Where did he go? Is he around? He should be around here. So unless he died, did we kill, did somebody kill him? <laughs> I Don't hope not. Think so. I don't see him right now. That's interesting. Do I have any guys now? Maybe somebody came in. No, he's right here. He's William. He's he's around someplace. Oh, there's William. There's William over there. Hello. We're gonna get William put to work. And uh, yeah, until next time. <laughs> I'll catch Bye. you later. Bye. Hmm.